My name is Gustav Mjoln and I'm the Programme Director for our new project set up with Heritage Lottery Funds called the Thames Discovery Programme. Surprisingly, the River Thames is London's longest archaeological site. There are many remarkable features exposed on the foreshore for those with eyes to see them and appropriate footwear to find them. These sites range from prehistoric forests, the remains of land surface that was there maybe 4,000, 5,000 years ago, Saxon fish traps harvesting the eels and fish that were in the Thames, right the way through to the industrial, maritime and nautical sites when London was the largest port in the world. Now we did a survey of these sites way back in the 1990s and dramatically we found that many of them have now been washed away by the daily scour of the tidal Thames. And we need to do something about this. We need to monitor and survey the sites to try and plot their fate. We'd like to record them all before they're washed away. To do this, we'd like to involve the whole London community in the project. And to do that, we need to train a body of people up, um, an organisation that we're going to call the Foreshore Record Observation Group, or FROG, to do this recording systematically and regularly, year on year, for perpetuity. Following on from a number of very successful classroom training sessions, we took the Proto Foreshore Record Observation Group members down onto the foreshore for a hands-on training session at the Custom House site. The site sits right in the Pool of London, the heart of the port, that reach of the river which runs from London Bridge itself, today a rather undistinguished piece of architecture, very unlike its magnificent medieval predecessor, through to Tower Bridge, a relatively late bridge dating to the 1890s, but now the great icon of London. Here they were introduced to the problems and challenges of surveying on the foreshore, to drawing sections and plans in the wind and the wet, and trying to fill in context sheets for rapid survey work. Presumably this post here would have come down to join and keel element, would it? Oh yeah, that is, is that just, is that the join there? Well? There's a yeah, there's a join there. Okay. And it's what's the side? Yeah, it's like Don't worry about the other. The site's also famous for a colony of cormorants who have lived there for many years now and demonstrate the Thames, although it may look brown and toxic, must be able to support a very healthy population of fish. We hope our foreshore record observation group members found this whole session rewarding, uh, if a little cold, and that they will help us to encourage yet more members to join the group and learn how to monitor and survey and save the history of our great river.